Hey everybody, this is Dr. Terrence D. Kruger and I'm coming to you today with the prophetic word for 2020. Yes, the word is already being released. Usually for those that know me and follow my ministry know that I release the word of the Lord in the upcoming year. But the Lord has given me specific instructions to release the word in the prior year. And so therefore, I want to release the prophetic word for 2020. And not just that, but I have a few special announcements for you that are important for things that are getting ready to come up. So stay tuned and hear what the Lord has to say concerning your life. So catch this. A few weeks ago, I was driving on the highway, and as I was driving, the Lord drew my attention over to the left. And as I looked over to the left, the Lord began to show me that there was frost that covered the field. And as I saw this frost covering the field, God then showed me a revelation concerning what was happening for 2020. God says 2020 is the year of the reset. God says it is a time where things are getting ready to be put back into alignment. Things are getting ready to be shifted back into order. God says even concerning the body of Christ, things that have gotten out of alignment, things that have gotten off of track, even concerning your personal life, things that have gotten off track, it is time to put those things back in order. For those of you, God even showed me that are sitting on the sideline and you're just watching life pass you by. God says it's time to get up from there and get back in the race. It's time to get back busy. Get busy. Get busy. Keep working. Don't stop. I understand understand life might, might have gotten you down. Life might have, have been tough for you, but you can't stay there. You have to get up because there's purpose and destiny in your life and you got to fulfill it. Nobody's going to do this for you. You got to do it for yourself. And so therefore we want to bring glory to God. There is a plan that he has set for your life and you can't afford to abort it. Tell yourself, I'm not going to abort the plan that God has set for my life. I'm not going to give up on the vision that I have set out to accomplish. And so the Lord began to tell me, he says, it is the year of the reset. He said, there are many of you that are going to have to go back and do your first works over. There are many of you that God is going to cause you to revisit some situations. Some of you have closed out certain chapters of your life. God says, I have not ordained for it to be closed out right now. God says, I am calling you back to it. There is a recall. There is a return that is getting ready to take place for 2020. In the second part of this prophetic word, the Lord took me into a vision where I saw a arrow that was getting ready to be launched at a target. But the sharpest part of the arrow, the tip, was actually on fire. And as I began to see this arrow being launched at the target, the Lord began to whisper in my ear and said, ready, aim, fire. And the Lord says 2019 is the year to make ready. It is the year that you are to prepare your mindsets, to shift your mind in the direction of where you are getting ready to go. God says 2020, don't even worry about trying to set a New Year's resolution. He says your New Year's resolution is to be obedient, to walk in obedience. And so therefore, with this being said, I want you to understand that 2020 is the year that you're getting ready to aim for some things and you're getting ready to shoot your shot. Yes, the Lord said to tell you 2020 is the year to aim and to shoot your shot. It's time out for you just wondering. It's time out for you sitting by and saying, well, I know you told me to do this, but things are a little tough right now. Things don't look look like they're going to work out. And so therefore, I'm going to give up on it. No, the Lord is calling you to it. He's saying even the things that you have desired in your heart and you have kind of put them on the back burner or you have given up on them or you kind of set it to the side and say, ah, I'll deal with that later. God said, no, it's time to aim those things. Get them in position. Get them prepared and shoot your shot. Because God says 2020 is going to be a prosperous year. I promise you, I see mountains being moved out of the way for so many people, but I can't tell you as a prophet of God that everybody's going to come out of their struggle. Everybody's going to come out of their problems. No, there are some people that are ordained to go through right now because it is preparing you for your later. And so therefore, take your time. Learn the lessons that you need to learn in the season that you're in. But for those that are listening under the sound of my voice, I'm telling you, many of you are getting ready to experience a harvest. You're getting ready to experience breakthrough. You're getting ready to experience 
deliverance, the healings and things that you have been waiting on God to do in your life. And guess what? The way is over. 2020 is your year. I prophesy as a prophet of God and tell you that 2020 is your year. Don't give up. Don't faint. Get back in the race. Get back on your assignment. Jump back in. If you have left certain situations that you know God has not called you out of, get back in it. Get back in it. Get back on track. 2019, you still got a few more weeks to go ahead and get everything in order, to get your mindset prepared. And hey, when you get ready to shoot your shot, the reason why I saw this flame of fire on the tip of the arrow is because God said when you get ready to aim and shoot your shot, shoot it with passion. God says, and for those that have lost your passion, get it back. Get it back. You got to fight for what's yours. The devil is a liar and he is a thief. He is a robber and he will try to steal your joy to make you feel like you can't go on. I shouldn't go on. It's not worth it. Who am I? I don't. Why would God even trust me with anything so, so great that he showed me in my dreams, in my visions, when he spoke to me or whatever it may be? And the enemy will come to try to lie to make you back down, make you give up, make you throw in the towel so that you will not fulfill purpose. You are more powerful than you think. So it is time for you to rise up. It is time for you to go forth. It is time for you to be who God has called you to be. Come off of the sidelines. Stop having a pity party. Get up from there. Change your clothes. Change your face. Put Anoint yourself. Walk out that door and say, I am somebody. I am somebody powerful. I am somebody great. And ain't nothing the devil can do about it. And I'm going to be and I'm going to do every Thing that the Lord has told me to. And so I'm going to walk in a greater level of obedience in 2020 because I am going to be one that shoots my shot and I'm going to hit the target every time because I'm going forth with passion. And I'm telling you, this is the word of the Lord for you for 2020. And I'm telling you right now, also the Lord told me that I need to challenge some of you there are many of you, I'm telling you, that will receive this word. You do not need to leave 2020 without sowing a seed of sacrifice. Let me tell you, oh goodness, here we go with the prophetic words and you're trying to get an offer. I knew it was coming. Let me tell you, if you believe like that, don't give. <laughs> because I'm telling you right now, it's according to your faith. I'm not here to badger anybody. I'm not here to tell you, oh, if you do this, you get this, and you get that, and you get that. No, I'm here to tell you what thus says the Lord. There is a seed that needs to be sown. And I'm telling you right now that as you sow this seed, you need to make sure that you're sowing a sacrificial seed. In other words, it is a seed that is given that is not given out of a place of comfort, but it is a given out of a place of a sacrifice, of a place where you know, okay, this is really, really going to be a sacrifice for me. Now, am I telling you to go and give up your rent money and all of this stuff? Absolutely not. Move as the Spirit of God leads you to. But let it be a sacrifice, not out of a place of comfort. Because I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do some great things for you in 2020. But God needs this seed sown in 2019. Don't wait until... 12.01 on New Year's morning. No, you need to sow it before 11.59 on uh, of 2000, uh, 2019 because I'm telling you what God is getting ready to do. He's trusting you. He's testing your faith to see if you're really ready to handle some of the things that he's about to release to you in 2020. I promise you if I be a man of God, manifestations getting ready to happen. You shall prosper. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20, if you believe Believe the Lord your God, you will be established. In other words, what he said is going to be set up for you just because you believe him. But guess what? There's another part of that scripture that says, if you believe the prophet, guess what? You're going to prosper. And so therefore, that means everything that has been spoken, everything that has been released out of the mouth of the prophet, you're going to see the manifestation of those things because you believe. Because you believe. Now, I'm telling you as a prophet of God to move in obedience. You need to make sure you're sowing a seed that has the number 20 in it. You need to sow a seed that has the number 20 in it, whether it's $20, whether it is 
$120, whether it is $520, whether it is $1,020, or so on and so forth. However the Lord moves on your heart, or however you see fit that you need to sacrifice unto the Lord. And, and there will be a link for you to be able to go over to the donate page so that you can sow your seed today. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do something great. I'm not a prophet that plays with God. And so therefore, I'm not going to tell you something to take your money or to do anything of that nature. I, I'm afraid of God, too afraid of God for that. And so therefore, I come here to be a blessing and not to be a hindrance. And so therefore, I'm going to challenge you, every one of you that receives this word for 2020, that God says you need to sow a seed and make sure it has 20, it has the number 20 in it. But I'm telling you right now, God is getting ready to do some great things. God is getting ready to do some great things. 2020 is going to be a prosperous and flourishing year. 2020 is going to be the year of spring for many of you. Yes, it's going to be the year of spring as the prophet speaks it out of his mouth and you grab a hold of it and believe it. Watch and see how things begin to manifest and begin to flourish on your behalf. There are some of you that have dreams and have goals that you want to see accomplished and you didn't think you were good enough for it. Let me tell you, try it. Try it. Try it. Go forth with passion and don't go forth with regret because I promise you, if I be a prophet of God, you're going to succeed in it. Just be led by God and follow his directions and see what happens. God's getting ready to open up favor. He's getting ready to open up major doors for some of you. I'm telling you right now, God's getting ready to move some stuff out of the way. I promise you, I see it as clear as day. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do some major things. Things. Let me tell you something. For those that are sowing, don't sow because you're looking for stuff. Sow because God told you to. And then when you do it because God told you to and you move in obedience to the word of the prophet, I'm telling you right now, God's going to make sure that all these things will be added to you. I'm telling you right now, God is getting ready to move for you and God is just looking for your faith. He's looking for your faith. He's looking for your faith. Amen. This is the word of the Lord for 2020. But hey, I want to invite you on Saturday, uh, Friday and Saturday, January 10th and 11th to come to my uh, Power Boost Conference, which is an annual conference that I have each year. For those of you that want to start your year out right, this conference is for you. It is a conference that is designed to give you that boost that you need to get started for your journey in the new year. I'm telling you, I have some voices of the Lord that will be in the house that will be releasing a word for direction for your future. I'm telling you, you're getting ready to be shifted in such a way prophetically that it is is going to be crazy. And so I want you to join me. My speakers are going to be none other than Pastor Terrence Bolger of Panama City, Florida, and none other than Prophetess Erica Tony of Jacksonville, Florida. These services will take place on at 7 p.m. nightly. For those that know me know I like to start on time. Hey Amen. And so therefore, we will be starting at 7 p.m. nightly. So join us. The address is at the bottom of the screen. So we look forward to seeing you there. Also, guess what? It is registration time for the Prophetic Empowerment Academy School of Prophetic Ministry. I'm telling you, this school has been so exciting. It has been so fun. And for those of you that say, well, you know, I'm not a prophet. Why should I attend your school? Because if you are a believer, you have access to the prophetic anointing. But many people do not know this and know how to access it because we have not been taught. And so therefore, this is a school that's going to equip you and prepare you for the work of ministry. I'm telling you, you're going to be able to do things and, and be able to have the confidence that you did not have before. Because one thing that I teach the class is that information brings about activation. And so therefore... Therefore, I'm telling you, for those of you that would like more information about what school is about, what we teach, you can visit our website at www.thepropheticacademy.org. Again, that is www.thepropheticacademy.org. Go over to the, our sister website and see what we have to offer, and you can register and pay there. If you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to the website, and one of our ministry representatives will get back with 
with you as soon as possible. And also, we also have uh, our, our registration available on the website and you can make your payment through the website or you can even establish payment plans. All right. So this is all that I have for you today. Again, I am Dr. Terrence D. Kruger and I am honored to come to you today to release the prophetic word of the Lord into your life to shift you into your prophetic destiny. God bless you. Thank you.